Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education. There's lots of ways to get the look of lace. I've got a few tips in this video to show you how to get the look of that delicate lace. Let's get started. So I've been playing around all morning with different colors and contrasting colors to get the right kind of look for this. Now the world has usually been acrylic or gel. Now we're starting to see some new techniques of combining acrylic and gel together. And it's really actually very cool. So I'm going to use an Ugly Duckling. This is number 22 for any of you those who might want to know the color. And this is just so cool. Okay, so I'm going to take a gel and this is a hard sculpting gel you can use any gel I suspect you could also use a gel polish so I'm going to use a sculpting gel I think it would be better because you want it to be a little bit less runny and a sculpting gel will stay more in place so you want to get a fair amount because I'm going to do all five nails and of course if you're doing all of your nails you want a fair amount Okay, so any gel will do, any hard gel. And then you're gonna take a spoon and you're gonna take the color of choice. I'm using this color because I want a real, you can see between the white, what a beautiful contrast this color will give. Okay, so just take a little tiny spoonful. Now this stuff, Ugly Duckling, is very, very fine, soft powder. This brings in your cooking skills. <laughs> sort of fold it into each other. And this is why you can you start to find the color that you want and the consistency and the consistency we're looking for is a little bit like toothpaste this is a little bit sticky so I'm gonna get a little bit more I'm gonna sprinkle that in this brings back the days and school when you're playing with play-doh and stuff i guess that goes way back like kindergarten <laughs> like i say playing with this all morning and if you go to creamy not enough powder in there by the time you make your designs it kind of all blends together so it has to be enough powder in there to get like peaks on it. See those like peaks I'm creating? When those peaks don't move as much, that's the kind of consistency you want. It's kind of finicky. So you don't want it too dry because you don't want it to crack up on you. You don't want it too wet because when you create your circles to create that lacy design, you don't want that to smooth together and there's no little hole to create that lacy design. So it's finicky. And you'll do some trial and error. I still say that's a little too soft. I'm gonna need some more powder. The good thing is we can always add more sculpting gel if we go too far, right? You can always save yourself if you make a boo-boo. This little palette I'm working on here is just a tile. I just went to a tile store and literally just picked up a tile. And I use it because obviously you can see it's a nice shiny surface and you can just really scrape stuff on there. Now make sure you don't have this with light streaming in the window like a natural sunlight because you'll cure this. Okay, we're getting a little better. Let's give this one a try now. Now I've got my nails painted white. This is a white gel. You can use this with polish as your base color. And it is the color, it's not necessarily base, but it's the base because it's, I'm gonna put another design on top. So I always call it base color. And I'm used 44 with Ugly Duckling and it is a gel, so I've cured it and it's dried and ready to go. I did put a little sparkle on this one here just to give us a little bit of an accent. It's not necessary, it's just a little added. Let's give it a go. Okay. So I'm gonna get a tiny little ball, not tiny, but I'm gonna get a little ball and put it on here. Now this is really sticky stuff, right? So I've got this little end. See this end here on this tool? I'm gonna get this powder and you can dip it right in there like that. And press this down. And keep doing it, because it's gonna stick to it, but if you get the powder on there, it'll stop it. I'm gonna get it from out from underneath. But I also find what's very effective. Oh, let me put this over here so I don't get it on my towel. I also do it with my finger. 
just go in there like that. This way, I like it with my finger because I can really feel how thin it needs to be. And you do want to press it right into your finger and make it rather thin. And that little dusting on there will help it become that kind of uh, lacy, not wet looking, right? Okay, that feels thin enough. I think that's good. It's going to drape around the underside, but I can always see I can just scrape it out. It's a messy thing, I'm going to scrape it out with that. So I'll deal with that later. But make it nice and thin. Okay, here's the fun part. Now I'm gonna keep a little bit of alcohol on here. It's close to my <laughs> gel, so just don't get it too close. And this can help clean up your edges. This is gonna help me make the edges nice and clean. Here's some options. Look at these little tiny tips. These are the options. You can find the tiniest of tip. It really makes a difference between how small these things are. We even got to the point where one of the girls at the salon said, use the back of my earring. If you look at the diff, look at that. It actually worked really well. I'll show you the difference. We even got out a pin. And that was effective as well. And there's even this pointy side of this tool of mine. Mm, that's not as hard, so it wasn't kind of making a dot as much, but the earring worked really well. So when you find which tool you want, you can start making your design. And you start pushing. And you really want to make sure it gets right down to the white so you can see that when your under color coming through it's really important once you create those little circles you could try to dent a little bit in between them and even try to create a very lacy edge and we're talking super super fine but that is the payoff I'm gonna keep this thin, thin. Oh, I'm gonna go here. Make that circle there. I'm gonna to try to make. But you'll notice too, the more you make these markings, the importance of how thin this pink stuff needs to be. This paste that you make has to be quite thin on the nail. It's really, really important. Go really, really thin. But you don't wanna go so thin that it breaks up when you start to divide it. The reason why you want it thin is because when you start poking around, it's like sticking your foot in the sand. It'll bunch up the sides. And that's what it'll do on here too. It'll bunch up on the sides. So you don't want it bunching up everywhere. You still want it to look rather flat like lace, right? So that's why I'm telling you all these different tools. Just found that with the different tools, it really does make a difference on how it looks. So I've got myself a little flower in there, that's cute. Then I find, when I took this really, really pointy one, I was able to put dots in between that really gave it some real delicacy to it. It just sort of took it up a notch to make it look really lacy. The reason why you want a real contrasting color as the base is so you can see through and you can see your intricate uh, lace pieces. I did a video similar to this where I was painting the gel on and then dipping it. You can do that too and you'll see the difference. That one's quite a bit thicker, but this one I find when you make the paste beforehand, you can actually make it quite a bit finer and quite a bit more delicate. It's actually much more effective. Okay, so let me make another one. Let me try the thumb. If you look on this tile, you can see how the gel still is kind of folding into itself. So let me see if I can put one down here. Here's a tip for you. When you're putting something on top of something, if you make an error, like if you didn't like something on your white polish, you can always, let's say you had a big dent right there, you could put this over top of your dent. Cover your mistakes. Because 
nobody's perfect. We just want to look that way, right? Okay, so I will show you how effective just this little earring. He really, it did work really well. It'd be hard to see because of my thumbs being in the way, but. Look at that, it was really effective. Just because it's shorter, so it's harder to hang on to. But you can see it worked really well. Putting the paste on beforehand, I think it allows you to be much more delicate and much more detailed. That's cute. Okay. I think I was using this one. It's really tiny and it's also dirty. So let me see if I can make it's like a bigger daisy. Oh, and the best way I find too is sometimes you're kind of like, well, I don't know what design to put on there. You can just maybe grab a lace, grab a lacy something and just copy it. Doesn't everybody have a little doily that their grandma made? Yeah, that's cute. You can just make it up as you go. That's what I do. Okay, and then where's that spiky one? And I'm just going to put some little teeny weeny ones in between. Try to make it look like I've got some sort of pattern. Now the best way to finish this, I will do all five for you to show a reveal. I'm getting better at it. Look at this one. Nee, that's a good. But this one is way better. Wouldn't you say, cameraman? Oh yeah, it looks a lot better. I know you're not into lace, but you can see how much better it oh, is, I like isn't lace. it? You do now. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that's way better. I got way better at it. So then I'm going to see. Well, hopefully I don't ruin it. Sometimes you can ruin a design by trying to do too much, right? I think I'm going to take that one off. Don't tell anybody. But this is awful. Look, I can just scrape it off. That's yeah. the beauty of it. Look at that. Look at that. That's like this mistake never happened. That'll be our little secret. Nobody has to know how bad I did, okay? I might cut that out, but you know, maybe I won't. Yeah, I don't even trust you anymore. Yeah. After the sneeze fiasco. Uh -huh. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna see online. <laughs> that is way better. I just got way better in just like one nail. You know what I'm forgetting? I'm getting so excited in the design. I forgot to tell you a very important part. You have to cure it, but not over top of this. <laughs> so what I have to do is I just have to cure this and those little intricate dots that I was creating will stay there. There's no top coating or anything like that. That's why this white stuff has got to be finished before you put this on. Just 30 seconds. And now it won't move anymore. That's actually quite cute. You know what I think I didn't like about this too, not to mention the, the dots wasn't very good. The placement, I think I don't like things on the end. So I'm glad I took it off. Okay, so let's do it at the cuticle. I seem to have luck with that, right? I'm gonna shape this guy. It's actually kind of good too, because one of the hardest things about white polish, whether it's gel polish or nail polish, is getting the cuticle perfectly even. It's kind of tricky. So this covers that badness. Again, cover your mistakes. Okay, let's see if I can do better with this now. If you find this is getting a little sticky too, you can dip it into the powder as well. you just get a bit of a groove of where you want your little dots. Okay. I still like that one a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of them.
Okay, so I'm just curing them up, making sure they're all happy. That should be good. Well, I redid the index finger, which I'm sure cameraman didn't cut out. So you can see that I made that boo-boo and boo-boos happen. Mistakes happen. You're not going to be perfect at it. I still didn't seem to get it right. I still like the other ones better than I like the index. The thumb is the cutest, I think. Maybe because it's bigger, so it's a little easier to maneuver and manipulate, but it's actually turned out quite cute. Let's check out the reveals. All in all, this turned out pretty good. Even though I messed up on the index finger, I'm sure the cameraman left that in, but you can see how you can just swipe it off and start again. And as time goes on, you will get better at it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.